added intensity, kind of like lifted my fastball up a little bit. I started throwing a little harder from there. Um, but yet the big takeaway is probably like the curveball is going to be the breaking ball today. Later in the game, Giancarlo hits the go-ahead home run. You proceed to throw a nine-pitch uh, frame there. Did that settle you down? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that was probably the turning point. Um, you know, we answered pretty pretty quickly there in the first, uh, made it 3-2, um, and that right there already, once we did that, I, I figured, hey, this offense is going to pop off at some point. We have a good chance to win. Um, yeah, once Big G did that, I thought that was a turning point for the whole team. How would you assess your command this month while still allowing this team to stay in games and help them win? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I still feel really good. The results haven't been, you know, what they've been all year uh, recently. Um, you know, I think I can tighten up some things. But overall, like, I think the stuff is in the exact same spot. Um, so, you know, minor adjustment here and there. But, yeah, I mean, you're going to go through these peaks and valleys throughout a season. And on a team like this, that's kind of the luxury. you got a great bullpen to pick you up, and you got a great offense to pick you up. Obviously, you guys are surprised by just how easily this offense can just turn on and, and turn into game around. Uh, I don't know if I get surprised, but, I mean, it's still impressive to me. Um, you know, we're always, like, two pitches away from a two-run homer, a bloop and a blast. Um, these hitters are so, so pro and veteran that, you know, they'll, they'll work a starting pitcher. Uh, they have a game plan, and they'll stick to it and wait for their pitch uh, in a certain spot. Um, and, yeah, we can turn a game really quickly. So, yeah, it doesn't surprise surprise me, but it's still super impressive to sit back and watch. How do you assess the contribution of just middle relievers of being able to keep it there when you guys are far behind or coming back? Yeah. Um, I mean, today's like a prime example. Uh, tight game. Uh, we have a couple guys probably down in the bullpen today, um, and it doesn't matter who comes in. Lucas, uh, Castro, they were able to bridge the gap, and I feel like we've been doing that kind of all year. And I feel like that's kind of what separates like the top tier teams from like the middle of the pack teams. Like Every team has some good middle of the word of bats or like solid starting pitching but like we're so deep that you know we have the starting pitching we have the lineup but we're even super deep in, in the middle of games which I think that that really does set us apart feel like over the last five games you're not pitching as well as you have been? I mean, you don't have any losses. Yeah, I mean, this is a results game, so I guess from like that standpoint, it's definitely been different. Um, but I'm kind of also telling myself just to, to stay the course because I think the, the delivery's in a great spot. I think the stuff's in a good spot. I think it really comes down to like a pitch here, a pitch there. Um, you know, it could be to Piscotti today as a prime example. I'm ahead in account 0-1. I have some pitches to waste, and I just leave a slider kind of middle down. Um, so maybe it's just that awareness in big situations. Like, hey, my miss here is going to be a ball. Uh, I think earlier in the season I was probably a little better at that. Um, but I don't think it's any big changes needed or anything. But, yeah, I mean, the results definitely speak for themselves. It's been a little different lately.